In the last video, we established how to identify the minutes past, counting in fives. In this video, we're going to look at how to identify the minutes two. How will you know when the minute hand is pointing to the numbers on this side of the clock, how many minutes there are to the next hour? We're going to start with one you already know, half past or 30 minutes past. And if you look at the blue side of the clock, you can see that you have half the clock, half an hour, for that minute hand to get back up to the 12 to say it's something o'clock. At the moment, it's half past four or 4.30. That means there are 30 minutes to go until five o'clock. We don't say 30 minutes to we say what it's 30 minutes past or half past. How to identify the minutes two if that minute hand is on the seven, eight, nine, ten, or eleven? One thing that makes this a little bit easier is that just as with the green side of the clock, the blue side also goes down in fives to the bottom. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five and then 30 at the bottom. It's almost like a mirror image of the green side. This time, as the minute hand moves round, instead of coming down the green side, it's going up the blue side towards the next whole hour. So as you can see, the minute hand here on the seven is telling us that there are 25 minutes to go until we get to the next hour. If you look at the hour hand, you can see that it's going towards the five. So unlike on the green side, where we had to look at which number the hour hand had gone past, when we're on the blue side, we have to look at where the hour hand is going to. That means that the time here is 25 minutes until five o'clock. And we usually say 25 minutes to five or just 25 to 5. There is another way of saying these times, but they're going to be covered in the next video. Now the minute hand has moved to the 8, which is telling us that we have 20 minutes until the next hour, which is 5 o'clock. 20 minutes to go until 5 o'clock, 20 minutes to 5, or just 20 to 5. This is one you might recognise from the first video. When there's 15 minutes to go to the next hour, that's a quarter of an hour. It's a quarter of a turn for that minute hand to get from the nine up to the 12. And we can call that quarter two as well as 15 minutes two. Again, the hour hand is coming up to the five. There's 15 minutes to go until five o'clock. 15 minutes to 5, or just quarter to 5. Now the minute hand is on the 10, this is the only one where it's exactly the same for the minutes. When the minute hand is on the 10, it's telling you that there are 10 minutes to go until the next full hour. Again, the hour hand is coming up towards the 5, so it's 10 minutes to go until 5 o'clock. 10 minutes to 5, or as most people say, 10 to 5. When the minute hand is pointing at the 11, it's telling us we have 5 minutes to go until the next o'clock. Again, that hour hand is going towards the 5, so it's 5 minutes to go until 5 o'clock. 5 minutes to 5, or 5 to 5 until that minute hand gets all the way round to the top again, and now it's five o'clock. Here are some for you to have a go at. For the first few, I've left the minutes on there. Pause the video if you need time to work each one out. Starting with this one, the minute hand on the nine is telling us that we have 15 minutes to go until it's 10 o'clock. 15 minutes to 10, which is the same as a quarter to 10. And again, with all of these, there is another way that you can say these times, but they will be covered in the next video. Have a go at this one. The minute hand is on the 11. 
that's telling us that there's five minutes to go until the next hour. And the next hour is three. That hour hand is going towards the three. Five minutes to three, which is the same as five to three. Have a go at this one. The minute hand is on the eight, and that's showing us that we have 20 minutes to go. The hour hand is going towards the eight. So it's 20 minutes to eight, or just 20 to eight. Now I've taken those minute guides away. See if you can work these out. Pause the video if you need a little while to work them out first. And again, it's fine to count down in fives, down that left hand side of the clock. This one, the minute hand is pointing to the nine. If you need to work out how many minutes that is, we'll count down in fives. Five, 10, 15, nine is 15 minutes to the next hour. And that hour hand is going towards the 12. 15 minutes to 12 or quarter to 12. Have a go at this one. Counting those minutes down that left side of the clock. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. There's 25 minutes to go until the next hour. And the next hour, that hour hand is going towards the 1. So it's 25 minutes to 1. Or just 25 to 1. This time we have the minute hand on the 10. We count down. That minute hand is telling us that there's 10 minutes to go. The hour hand is going towards the six. So there's 10 minutes to go until six o'clock, or just 10 to six.